Hey guys, welcome to the fifth ever episode of LifeCast. How are you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, there I go. Oh my god, E3! Mr. Timmons! It is E3 time. It's E3 time. I'm fucking excited as all hell. I don't know what to do. I'm fucking excited. It's like Gamer Christmas every year. I'm freaking out a little bit on the inside, <laughs> and this one is, seems a little bit more special than all the other ones. Um, for several yeah. reasons. For several reasons, man. Uh, but yeah, no, this is gonna be our big E3 show. Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully, you guys enjoy uh, this 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 uh, cast. Uh, basically, episode five is gonna take a look at our predictions, uh, some games that we're we're really excited for. We're gonna take a look at some of the new consoles and things we're gonna be uh, talking about. Um, we're also gonna break down Nintendo, Sony, and Xbox. So we're gonna hit the big three up. Uh, kind of talk about all of it. Uh, but let's mo let's move on to the uh, the first uh, briefing, which is going to be um, Microsoft's Xbox One. Uh, basically, Xbox E3 26 media briefing is going to take place Monday, June 13th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, you can watch it on Spike TV, uh, on Twitch, uh, or you can watch it on Xbox.com. Um, basically, according to Microsoft, um, you know, there's going to be new unannounced IPs like Halo Wars 2, Verizon, or excuse me, Forza Horizon 3, Gears of War 4, um, and some even some new hardware and things like that. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just talk kind of talk about this, man. Um, like, what are you excited for? Uh, we got we got a list of games here that they're talking about, and possibly, uh, w you know, what what do you hope to see that we have not heard or there hasn't been any coverage on uh, of yet? So. Um, because I know you're a big Xbox guy, you're a big Microsoft yeah. guy. So, um, and there's a lot of stuff happening with 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 Microsoft this year. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of rumored stuff. That's I'm, that's why this E3 is so big and kind of important because there's so many rumors about where where these companies are heading, what the future is going to be like for video games, and this will be very telling to that future. Sure. What these people are going to announce. So. And I mean, it's not even so much about the games. I mean, it's about uh, the Xbox Scorpio rumors. It's about yeah, yeah. the possible juncture that they're going to cross with uh, Oculus Rift and things. Right. So, so there's a lot at stake here. It's it's going to be exciting, but we are also going to get some games. So you know, there's a lot going on here. So let's uh, let's let's talk about some games first, and then maybe we can get into some hardware. Okay. Uh, kind of talk maybe some VR stuff, and then we you know we can break down some predictions that we have about uh, what what Microsoft uh, may unfold. Uh, at uh, at E three here. So, uh, you want to start, man? Uh, you want to talk about some games maybe you, you, that they've announced that you're you're getting excited for, or maybe something you hope to see? Yeah, I mean, I, they they announced pretty much what you expected. Like they're gonna show Gears of War four there, which I, I played um the multiplayer beta for. I mean, it's mm. Gears of War. It's pretty right. straightforward. More gears. Um, more gears. More gears. Yeah. So <laughs> if you like Gears of War, it's Gears of War. So you're fucking ready. <laughs> right. You're fucking ready. Let's do it. I mean, it's it's fun, but uh. Yeah, I'm kind of excited for that. How did it feel? Know. I mean, did it feel kind of, did it burn you out? I mean, did you get, you're like, oh, okay, it's the same kind of thing. I mean, do you think Yeah, I mean, it just, it, it felt like Gears of War. It felt like okay. same kind of thing, what you'd okay. expect. I mean, that's right. that's what the fans of that like, the hardcore fans, so. Sure, sure. I, I don't so know. It's good. I mean, if you're a fan, you're going to get more of what you like. Uh, hopefully, it is better in some ways than, than the other games. Uh, yeah. You know, we'll, we'll see more. Um, yeah, I'm not uh, sure. I'm not, I'm not like the biggest Gears fan, but right. I, I would play it. Uh, it played fine. It controlled really well. So yeah, I always can't enjoyed, complain. I always I always respected and enjoyed Gears for that cover shooting and things like that. Uh, I didn't get into the Gears franchise till like way later, like till this gen actually, because uh, I didn't have a 360. Uh, so I missed out on a whole bunch of uh, yeah. Gears stuff. But I've been replaying. There's a bunch of Gears. Games. Yeah, there's like seven of them. Well, there's yeah. four. Well, there's there's three, and then there's a there's then three, Judgment. and then there's Judgment. Was that three? Yeah. Or was that? that I was, don't even know. That was four. That well, I mean, well, yeah, but technically yeah, it, was it was the fourth, the fourth game, game. But yeah, this is right. Yeah. So. And then they did um, the remaster of the first game. Right. That came out on the Xbox One. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, it's Gears. If you like Gears, it's Gears. I'm pretty excited about Forza Horizon 3, actually, because for, I played a little bit of Forza Horizon 2 back in the day. And that yeah. was a phenomenal uh racer man that game and was fantastic. they're they're beautiful looking games it was it, oh god and I, I just can't wait for this game um you know i'm not really a traditional uh, car, fan of car racers um right. you know i do like kart racers you know yeah. some kind of games like some of the newer ones too like drive club and things like that they've kind of i'm not really fans of i didn't really like the new forza game that came out forza 5 i think yeah. it was i wasn't really a big fan of it but uh forza horizon 2 that game was just phenomenal i mean it just kind of it, it felt just like the, the controls were really tight it was beautiful um the online worked fairly well things like that and i remember just having a lot of fun with forza horizon 2 um so i'm, I'm actually really excited to see what they have uh for us uh, for um, for this game, because uh, you know the, the second one was just phenomenal. It was so good. It was oh, so yeah. good, man. It was so good. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, I mean, like I always think back to like the the Need for Speed Underground games, and I mean, like 
Forza Horizon 2 had like a little bit of that in there. I mean, there were not so much customizations and things like that, but I mean, just the, the controllability and things of how it felt just felt so Oh, good, yeah, th so. those games control really well, too. Yeah. Really and fun. I, and that's what I want because, you know, there, there's like there's like always been two different kinds of feeling of driver driving simulators. I mean, there's been a, a driving simulator where it's like... Like a know, Gran Turismo? Right, or like Forza, like where you're behind the wheel and it kind of feels like you're driving the car yeah. and like when the road's wet you can feel it. But then there's like your racers, like where it's just like, you know, the, the like, you know, the torque and shit doesn't really fucking matter. It's just like, let's, let's fucking win this. And always the, 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 the Forza Horizon games always felt like that to me. Um, because yeah. they were more based on like competitive sides of, of playing and less about like let's really put the player in behind the wheel and things like that. It's there, but it's not as pronounced. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not a super driving... strict. Yeah, yeah, it's not like like I don't know. Like, do you remember the old? Uh, do you remember the old games back in the day? The the Need for Speed games that were yeah. like the, they were the like the test drive Need for Speed test drive. Like like you would just go for like long drives and things like that. Like oh, this is you're like really in the car and shit. You know. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, basically, um, I miss the. Uh, the, the, the competitive ridiculousness of the other games, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, And less of the, uh, oh, we're in a car now. So, um, <laughs> We're in a car. So. But the, uh, the, the, the two games that I am the most excited for, um, I'm really excited um, for ReCore, actually. Um, yeah, ReCore looks cool. New IP coming to the Xbox One. Um, it, looks, it, looks, it looks insane. It's like a third person. They, we don't really know a lot about it. Yeah, they, they, only, they only ever showed a... Uh... It's, it's pretty much like a cutscene. It was yeah. It basically looked like it was a end of the world type of game. Mm -hmm. um, basically, the, the world ended. You're this girl who's who's running around this wasteland, and like you have this little robot that's following you around. Yeah. And uh, I'm a, I, we don't know if it's gonna be first person, third person. There hasn't been any gameplay. Or, really or if it's gonna be like a platformer. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I mean the setting, the premise, the character. Uh, yeah, the the art the direction. Art style, it looked really neat. It looked uh -huh. fantastic. Um, but that was last E3. They showed that right. so. They've had a year to do whatever mm. they could on it, so I get, so we're they're probably definitely going to put that up at the forefront since it's a first party game. Yeah, so we're going to definitely be looking for a Recore. Um, what about you, man? What you got? Any other ones you're uh, kind of excited for? Uh, I'm really excited for Crackdown Three. Oh, it's going to be there. You know, it's going to be. I there. don't. I think Crackdown Two came out in like the mid two, uh, probably like 2008, maybe. Mm -hmm. It was a long time ago, but um. Yeah, Crackdown are really awesome games. It's kind of akin to, uh, I guess the, the. Did you play the last Saints Row game that came out where you were like a? Saints Row. It was like War? a su superhero one. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't play too much of it. I I played a little bit of it. It's fucking ridiculous. I played yeah. a little bit of it. I didn't, I didn't really get into it. Like I, there's like you like kill people with, like dildos and stuff in that game. There's yeah. like clowns and shit. Yeah, it was a little ridiculous. Crack, Crackdown's I, a little more serious than that. A little but, more serious. Yeah. But the way that one played like superhero, where you level up and you can like literally leap over buildings by the end of the game. Crack, cool. Crackdown was kind of like that. You start out as like this like just generic cop kind of that. Well, you're like a super cop. You got like this car that can transform into, like, Fucking a super tank car. And Duke Justice from people. Eastwatch. <laughs> yeah, pretty, yeah, it's like Eastwatch, pretty much. <laughs> That's awesome. But, but you can, you can, it's, it's kind of got RPG elements where you're leveling a guy up, and you can level up your jump where you can jump up buildings, or you can level up where you can, like, climb buildings really fast and run really fast. Mm, so, it, and it's an open world game where you kind of got that going yeah. on. Now one has to assume that they're going to be uh, releasing the the original crack or the original Crackdown games on Xbox uh, backwards compatibility. At I, least oh, at, so. at least two. At least two. Was Crackdown yeah. one? That was a 360 game, wasn't it? Crackdown was on 360. Yeah, Crackdown one was 360. All right, so I mean, you would assume they're probably going to get both on backwards compatibility, get some hype for the game. Now, do you think Crackdown three will get a date for 2016? Do you see that? Coming yeah, out of the end of I, would, year? I would think so. Do you think that Microsoft is setting up for a second? Uh, best games holiday collection like they did last year because last year know, their, their their release schedule was insane. They by far blew everything that Nintendo uh, and plus Sony had out of the water. I mean, you had Rise of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. You had it was it was just ridiculous the amount of games that were coming. Out. I mean, you had I think that you had the Gear remake. Uh, you had the uh, the uh, the Rare Replay. Did, did um, Master Chief Collection come out last year? Or was Ma that was Halo. in October. Yeah, no. Yeah. The, well, yeah, there was Master Chief and the Halo Five Guardians came out yeah, last year too. Right. So. Um, and then, you know, they continued into 2016 with Quantum Break um, and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think they're setting up uh, big um, to, to really kind of take over not only 2016, but also uh, 2017. Yeah, I know, I know Crackdown 3 is going to be all co-op. The second Crackdown was co-op, but mm -hmm. 
second crackdown wasn't as good. This one looks like they're really doing some innovative stuff with it. Mm. And they're, I did see some video using... coverage. Or I did see some video where like everything looks like it's going to be breakable. The yeah. walls are going to explode. Well, they're, like, they're it looks doing... like it's they're doing like a lot of cloud processing stuff, so that's what I'm. There's going to be cloud processing for the destructible. Like they should, they showed a multiplayer match where they were just leveling entire fucking skyscrapers and everything's blowing. It it looked insane. Like I, I'm interested to see how they pull that off how it runs, but it, I am too. It, it looked like insanity. It looked really cool. So that that game has me really excited. My, my, me too, man. Um, the next and another one I'm really excited for is actually Scalebound. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be Platinum the, game, right? It, it's made by Platinum Games. Uh, they're they're for, they're like you know their their A team is making this game. It's a ex- an Xbox One exclusive, which and is crazy. A, it looks to me like it's gonna be like The Witcher, but it's also gonna have some elements of of, of maybe maybe like the or the Panzer Dragoo games where you can like do some like dragon flying and run around and things like that. Right. Uh, it looks crazy because you're pretty much like a dragon tamer that fights. Monsters and Monsters, shit. and you yeah. have dragons on your side. And, I, and I've always wanted something like that, especially from Platinum, where you would be a, a, a you know, a human or whatever, and then you would have a, a, a somewhat like a massive monster on your side. Uh, because yeah. the things that they've done with Bayonetta and even the, the Transformer games and things like that, not so much their other team that works on, uh, you know, the, that TMNT game, which we don't want to talk about too much anymore. Ooh, yeah. Um, but, you that know. Was, that the, was their interns that made Right, yeah. That was like, hey, you guys need a job. Okay, what do you We doing? need this done in a week. Make this it. shit. Here's an engine. Fucking do something, you know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I mean, Scalebound looks like it's going to be a um, probably one of the best Xbox One games because um, it just it looks so fruitful. Um, they can actually make a really interesting IP about it. About how there's this like world of the dragons and and I'm sure there's gonna be some sort of you know like the, maybe the dragons are gonna be getting killed off by I, it looks crazy and like one of the dragons actually rises up and so, it looks amazing uh, yeah. the game looks fantastic and I can't wait to explore the game um, same thing we haven't really seen too much gameplay from it um, no though it has been announced that Scalebound has slipped into 2017 so we will probably see some gameplay and a lot of coverage of it. Uh, yeah, I mean, at least they're to... taking their time making probably an insanely. I mean, I <laughs> crazy think with, I, th- I think with new IP you have to. Um, yeah, definitely. I think, I think more it's, so you gotta have a solid release. For you that. gotta have a solid release because I mean, if this game comes out, especially it's, if it's gonna be an Xbox One exclusive, and it'll probably come to PC as well. Yeah. Um, under uh, Microsoft Games portfolio that they've been trying to get out there. They, they, if this game sucks, then nobody's gonna give a shit, and then uh, you're gonna, you know, I don't know. That would really suck for not only Platinum but also for 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 Microsoft, especially where they're trying to pivot going forward with um you know the, the the new platform they have and things like that games like right. Scalebound, games like quantum break these are, these are the types of experiences you want to have unique game brand new ip uh from trusted developers uh that are going to really push your platform into uh into that next generation so it's gonna be cool right um games that people want <laughs> That, yeah. that are going to try to move systems for absolutely. I mean, you got to have your gears, you got to have your Halo. Yeah. You're also going to have want to have games like uh, like Recore, like Scalebound, um, and, uh, you know things like that. So, um, well, I mean, did you want to start talking about predictions, or did you want to maybe do? Are there a couple other games you're excited for? Because um, I don't want to I don't want to get too much into that because I know that might cross into prediction territory. Right. Um, uh, so. The the only other game on this list that I'm excited for is Below. Have you ever heard of that? No, I haven't. No, I was kind of interested in what this is. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's an well, indie game that's been in development for a while, but it it's coming out on PC too. But it's is, the, is this Xbox. is this the game that was developed by the guys that did Limbo? I th- is this I the think one it might that, be. is this the one that um, I need to need to look at the, uh, more it's, images. It's on Capybara this. Games. Did um, they? I think this might be no. The they, I don't think they did lim- Limbo. Okay. No, no. I, I know what game you're talking about, the guys that did Limbo. They, sh- would, they showed that last year. They showed that last year. But that was a side-scroller. This is different. Um, this is basically... I, th- I think it's... It's like a, a top-down kind of isometric game, but uh, it has like this really beautiful art style and creepy, eerie vibe. But okay. it's it's like a roguelite type of game where... Oh, cool. You're doing runs, and it's kind of got like I guess a Dark Souls feel to it almost. Oh, okay. not really. I I, I think just in gameplay wise, but okay. I'm yeah, check that out. It's it's really below, cool okay. looking game. Yeah, look, I don't know a lot below. about it, but it looks it looks really neat. Oh, we will know more <laughs> in in a week or so. So we'll definitely know more. Um, well, I want to I want to start with my first prediction. Okay. For Xbox, uh, my first prediction is going to be that um, Sunset Overdrive Two. Yeah, will, I was going to say that will be there. And I believe it will get a early 2017 release date. What if What if it's a launch game for the Scorpio? For the Scorpio. Oh, man, that's insane. Um, 
I don't know. I, I don't even know if the Scorpio is a real thing. I mean, it's still rumors and things like that. So, I mean, you know, I think they are going to be talking something about it. Right. Um, and I would also assume that if, if the Scorpio will play all Xbox One games. So I'm assuming yeah. that unlike the new 3DS where you have to have a new 3DS to play certain games, I think the Scorpio will play all Xbox One games. And I don't think they're going to ostracize the games to a new console of that, of the you know, to this brand new thing. I think it will also be playable on Xbox One. Huh. So. Um, That's interesting. Yeah, so I don't really see them doing something like Nintendo did um, with their handheld, where oh, if you don't have this, then then you can't play it. I don't, I don't see them doing that. Um, but if they did, they would probably also have to tr- maybe do some VR tech with it. Right. Yeah, I mean, I I don't I don't see them doing that either, just because of the direction I guess Spencer wants to go into. Um, I I don't think they want to ostracize people that have only had. Xbox One for what three years it's been out. Right. I, I don't think they're out to burn people. I don't just see yet. That. You know, because because the, the thing is they've been trying to come back from what, how, their their terrible E3. Well, the damage that that whatever that damage control name. for two years. Yeah. So, uh, so they've been trying to come back and build trust again because uh, if you guys, I don't know, I'm sure some of you remember uh, E3 2013 for Xbox when they announced it, uh, or it was a 2012. I forget. I think it was 2013. Yeah, it was ET 2013 yeah. because then it came out in, in November yeah. of 2013. Uh, basically, it was like DRM, you can't share your games, you can't do this, you can't do this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We're going to be sports, we're going to be integrated with TV, you That's have to like, use what Connect. The, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, people were just like, are you fucking kidding? And I remember there was this outrage, just this storm of, no, fuck Xbox, fuck Microsoft, they're stupid. And then literally they fired that guy, and then they brought on Phil Spencer, and he's been like... Who's been completely so, turning the shit we're around. We're sorry, these are the best games, we're, you know, hey, we got Rise of Tomb Raider, we got... Yeah, I mean, he, he didn't now, make any so. apologies for it either. Either. He was like, "Yeah, this was, this was like a bad direction. Like we're yeah. fix, we're focusing on games now." And he said, "I'm a gamer. I'm a this gamer. is what I want to focus on. Right. This is so, why they hired me." Yeah. Yeah. So I don't see them going down that road of having uh, exclusive games at launch for the Scorpio. I think if if and when they do talk about the Scorpio, which I'm not even sure they're going to do that at E3. I don't even know. I think I don't I know. Think it might. might be way too early. It might be way too early. I don't know. I don't know. Um, if it's coming out the beginning of next year, like it was rumored. I would think they would have to talk about it. I don't know. So is that one of your predictions that they're going to talk about Scorpio? I think they're going to talk about the Scorpio and talk about okay. Oculus Rift partnership along with that. And we did talk a little bit about this last uh, last week on episode four where we talked about that uh, Microsoft. There's some rumors circulating yeah. that uh, Microsoft is actually creating a more powerful platform to run VR games um, because actually Microsoft – has it been confirmed that Microsoft and Oculus have a partnership now? Because I wasn't sure on that. It wasn't confirmed, but okay. it's suggested since the Oculus controller. comes with an Xbox One controller. Right. and I don't, It just seems like a likely partnership since mm. since Sony's having their own VR. I mean, it, it would just it – would, it's just a likely partnership if they would do that. That would be interesting. That's going to be very interesting to see. So Yeah, and I'm – I mean, if you can just buy like a regular Oculus set and it's not Xbox specific, I mean, a lot of people just buy that. Then you can use it on your PC too. Yeah. They would have that over PlayStation because you can't, you wouldn't be able to plug your PlayStation VR into your PC, use it for PC games. So. Now I could be totally wrong about this, but I I don't know. I don't see them talking about it this year. I really think that it'll be. I don't know. Their Xbox is going to be strong. They're going to announce all these good, these awesome games, and then they're going to keep that under wraps. Maybe kind of bring up some VR with 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 PC, and then next year I think is when they're going to announce the the Scorpio. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. That's well, I, I, know, I know they're going to probably definitely going to announce the Xbox Slim. The smaller version of the Xbox One. Right, because the Xbox One now is available at two ninety nine, so it makes sense. To, right. Uh, you know, they're going to start uh, offering, uh, you know, they already offer a connectless uh, Xbox. Now it's going to be cheaper and things yeah. like that. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting. Um, you know, these are all I'm, just I'm down. I'm we... down for Sunset Overdrive 2, though. That'd be amazing. Sunset Overdrive 2, if you guys don't know, is probably one of the best games that I've played uh, this gen. One of the best new uh, IP. It's, it's, yeah, it's it, amazing. It's, it, it, it mixed together. together. It was made by Insomniac, or Insomnia Games. Uh, mm. Wait, it's Insomniac? Insomniac. Insomnia, yeah. And uh, basically, it's like Jack Grind Radio with an awesome third person shooting. shooter <laughs> with shooting mechanics, and you're blasting these. Th- oh, it's crazy. And it's an RPG. You're leveling and, stuff up. Yeah, you're leveling you get, up. Your you're weapons. Stuff, and you get yeah. character customizations and things. You get new new costumes for side quests and things. So it was, it was, it was a really awesome game. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh, the best thing that I really liked about uh, Sunset Overdrive, actually, was that you create the, the character, and the character the game was about you. Yeah. It wasn't about, like, 
yeah, it didn't feel like you know it was kind of like forced down this this path. I felt like some of the stuff that I did in the game like kind of opened up new stories and new stuff for my character. So I got to know my character better. Yeah. Because I I created her. I made her a badass. I made her <laughs> whatever. Right. So she responded in the way that I thought she should. So like her voice sounded like this. She did this. Um. So I thought it was pretty cool. I really enjoyed the gameplay. I really enjoyed the story of the game. It was just crazy. It was like yeah. It, it was an excellent first opening for that IP. It That's, was so fun too because it, it was a game that just made so much fun of itself and i love games to do that it was so much oh fun. yeah it didn't take itself seriously nah. and it's just pure yeah fun to control just... yeah like like my character was she was like oh let me guess this is where i have to get the big gun to shoot the big guy now or something right? yeah. so it's like yeah you know it's like oh okay, sorry do breaking now. down third walls and yeah i enjoyed the hell out of it because it just it was ridiculous it was fun uh, the gameplay yeah was I, I would like so to see like uh i would like to see a completely co-op sunset overdrive i think that would be really neat that'd be cool there was a multiplayer element to it but i didn't yeah. use it i didn't use it too much but that would be cool to yeah, it was all right co-op. yeah yeah, it'd be cool to have like a co-op type of gameplay style, so that'd be fun. So I'm really, I'm really hoping that they uh, talk about Phantom Dust. That's like my secret. Uh, that's, that's my secret hope. I don't, I don't think they prediction. will. Is this your second yeah. prediction? Let this me is get my this. second, second hopeful prediction. Second hopeful prediction. <laughs> so, so so far you have Xbox Scorpio uh, and VR, yeah. and then now you have uh, Phantom Some Dust. Phantom so, Dust. Why Phantom Dust? Uh, why is it such a special game? It was a game on the original Xbox. I don't know. I mean, it's, I it's probably a game not a lot of people remember, but if you had an original Xbox, um, it was just crazy, really unique third-person deck-building card game. It's hard to explain, but... But there was also some like action third-person shooting elements and stuff, wasn't but, there? Oh, yeah, I, I never played the it, game. I mean, I Fa- Phantom Dust is basically it. like an arena kind of battle game, but mm-hmm. it's like a post-apocalyptic. It was an Xbox exclusive. That was the only place you could get it, and they never made another one. Yeah. But uh, it's basically you're like collecting cards, mm-hmm. like decks of cards, and you can roll out with different decks, and each card did like a different special power. Right. And you can like fly around, hover around, you're shooting lasers and shit, and the environment would actually blow up and destroy. And it was just a cool cool take on a card battle game because you're actually using the cards in a third-person view. You're traversing a world, and you're fighting somebody. So I don't know. It, it was a really interesting, unique game, and it would be cool to see that brought into the, the current gen that we're at. It would be really neat. Um, and it, I was excited that they actually even, like, I thought that game would never see the light of day again, and then they were talking about it the past couple years, and then yeah, it sounded like it went through a little bit of a development hell. It did. I mean, I mean, they fought, they they canceled the people that were working on it. They, I guess, they didn't like the direction it was going in. Mm. But Phil Spencer said that he's like, we're not canceling it. It's still going to get made. So why find a new developer? So, who, so who, yeah. Uh, last I heard, they they were finding somebody else to make it, but. It's kind of been under wraps since then, so I mean, I don't it makes perfect. If it makes perfect sense, I mean, if if you are working with a company, and that this is why I like Phil Spencer. I mean, he yeah. came out and he was like, you know, they they came to him and they were like, this is what we're working on, sort of the direction we want to take. And uh, Phil Spencer knows that these types of IP that were on the original Xbox are really important to. Uh, yeah, their X- culture, X- their their Xbox fan base, right? I mean, it's yeah. it's, it's essentially kind of like how. Other M was developed by Team Ninja. Nintendo didn't stop it. Everybody hated Metroid Other M uh, because it was just went in the wrong direction. But Phil Spencer, instead of like allowing the game to go forward, like even I'm sure money was already put into this. I'm sure like tons of time and, and energy, and they they made yeah. a, they made an engine and all this kind of stuff was already here. And Phil Spencer was like, no, this is not fucking Phantom Dust because uh, he is right. a gamer himself and he understands like no, this is not the direction that we need to take. Uh, so we need to go back to the drawing board. We need to find a new developer, which I totally commend him for doing that. And this is why I love this. Yeah, I think yeah. He he, he didn't for... just let something get pushed out that like oh, here's kind of kind of Phantom Dust. I mean, they, we need we need they, to build our there was a, better, right? Yeah, I agree. The, the people that were working on it, they leaked footage out of what they had, and I mean, it pretty it pretty much looked like Phantom Dust. But it, it the thing about it was, it just looked like. Phantom Dust with updated graphics. Like I don't think there was anything new or special about it, mm-hmm. and maybe maybe that's what they didn't like. Maybe they wanted them to innovate on the idea of that original game. So, yeah, that I don't know. Sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, well, do you have any other predictions? Yeah, that was my big one. Was uh, uh, Sunset Overdrive two? I don't know. I would love to see them pull some of their old IPs back. Bring fucking Stubbs the Zombie back. Bring oh, Conquer back. Oh, I mean Stubbs. Yeah. Because yeah. I think they own Conquer now, because they, they own Rare. So they do. They own Rare. They It'd be cool Conquer. to bring back some old. Oh, that's another thing. D- do you remember last year that they announced this weird pirate game that Rare was making? 
Yeah, something of thieves or something. Yeah, I w I wonder if they'll show that because that seemed really cool. It was like there. some persistent online multiplayer game. I forget. You form like a pirate crew and you're on a pirate ship sailing around fighting other I forget other the teams of, of pirates. Mm, I do. I, I too too. But they 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 showed it last year, so I don't know if are they still working on that. Is that going to be something? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. It, it'd be cool if they showed up. that because that seemed interesting. Yeah, I really think Microsoft's going to pull out all the stops. Whatever they have working on right now, they're going to let everybody see it. They're not going to be holding anything back. Yeah. Um, I, I, like I would love to see more old rare IP come out though. Now, what about third? What about third party? We talked a lot about their first party. What what kind of third party uh, excitement do you think we'll see from from Microsoft on uh, the Microsoft camp? Uh, like how they announced the Metal Gear Solid Five was at the Xbox conference. Uh, uh, there were a couple other games as well. Um, do, you, do you see any other like kind of third party games like really just being like, oh, here's a, here's a sequel or here's something new? Um, do, do you do you expect anything um, from any of that? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure they're going to show like uh, Battlefield, mm -hmm. uh, Titanfall <laughs> two, which isn't going to be exclusive this time. Right. So I. So that's probably going to be the Sony camp. Yeah, my <clears throat> you'll talk more about Titanfall two then. Um, I, the one, I one that I, <clears throat> one that I think is actually we're going to see is. Um, I think we're going to see Final Fantasy XV uh, coverage at Xbox. Oh, really? Um, Final Fantasy XV has been pushed a lot towards Sony. Um, every time there's been a Sony conference or a PS experience and things like that, a lot of Final Fantasy XV coverage has been there. But they have not really uh, have have dug into the Xbox community with the new Final Fantasy game. I really think we're going to see some new footage from Final Fantasy XV. Uh, probably see some some new Square games from uh, or see some new, new Square Enix games at the Xbox conference as well. Does um, that have a release date? Final Fantasy 15 is coming out September 9th of this year. I oh, okay, so, so there is not that far away. It's not not that far off, um, and I really think is now they're really trying to build their base with the game. Uh, that you know they understand like, oh yeah, we've taken so much time and put so much money into this. We really need to get excitement going for this, and they've been doing that on um, on Sony's end. So everybody on the Sony front knows when that game's coming and what's happening. But on the Xbox crowd, they they, they still it's coming to Xbox, and I don't really yeah. think anybody even yeah. knows it's coming to Xbox, honestly. Um, it's not really a big thing that, that, that has been pushed thus far. So I really think we're going to see that. Um, also, I think Watch Dogs 2. Um, there's been a lot of coverage and previews for Watch Dogs 2, Ubi's uh, big game. Um, so I yeah, really I don't think they they haven't even like showed anything from that yet. I not yet, no. I And I really think that we're going to see... I think it's going to be one of the first such second games that we'll see um, at the Xbox camp will be Watch Dogs 2, actually. Um, the first game was received mediocrely, um, which really wasn't that Yeah, I mean, good. It, had, it had a lot of interesting ideas, and I thought it could be a really good game, but mm. I, it just wasn't there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so I really think that uh, now they understand what the IP will, what they can do with it. Because uh, the game seemed like it was developed in a last-gen type of mindset, which I think it was developed for last-gen and then actually ported to new consoles. Yeah, but okay. now that they've already had a few years to work with this new system and engine and processing, uh, you know, the processor and things like that, so they can, they can probably add more worlds, more things to do, probably really make a really immersive... Open I would hope so, because I played the original... Uh, Watch Dogs on Xbox, and that game was super hyped. And it just it ran, it performed like shit on the yeah. Xbox. It ran really bad. Mm. There was a lot of online performance problems. It just right. wasn't an enjoyable experience. Um, yeah. yeah, so I hope I hope they fix that with the, the yeah. new one. So I yeah, don't I, don't I don't honestly don't think anybody's excited for Watch Dogs too. Honestly, I don't. I mean, I'll, I'll wait to reserve judgment until I see what they have to offer. But right. I don't know. Right. I wonder if they're going to push uh, the new Deus Ex on the Xbox, because I know they did with the last one. That's another uh, Square um, game, exactly. Another which, game which those are phenomenal games. I'm really pumped up for that. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe For Honor that's coming out. Is that going to be an Xbox exclusive, do you know? No, no, it's, mul it's okay. multi-platform. Right. But that looked like a really neat game. It's like a mm. uh, kind of medieval third-person multiplayer battle game. Right. <laughs> so it's like all melee combat. Now, what about Mass Effect Andromeda? Uh, this is a game that's coming to Xbox One, PS4, and PC. I don't know. Um, I, I could see like EA games being pushed on Xbox more since uh, I was thinking so too. Xbox utilizes um, what's that EA Access Pass that you can do? Uh, Origins or something? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but uh, you can like pay that monthly fee for like this right. EA Access, but and you get, like, I, I don't. You can't stuff, do it on PS4. You can only do it on Xbox. Right. And you get whatever free games are in their library, and you get early access. You can play like all the release games a week early. Mm -hmm. So I think EA might tend to market their stuff more for Xbox since they ha it has that functionality. Mm -hmm. So I think you could see games like Titanfall 2 and uh, Mass Effect, yeah, stuff like that, probably marketed more towards Xbox. 
Yeah, I can definitely see that. Um, well, yeah, I think I, I think I about covers it up. Uh, yeah. Do you have any other predictions or anything else you'd want to see on Xbox uh, from the Xbox camp? Uh, I mean, do you see them talking about PC or VR? I mean, what do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, I, I think they're definitely going to reinforce um, their direction where they want to have more connectivity between PC and Xbox mm. because that's what they designed Windows 10 to do, basically. And... Right. So do you think we'll see Windows PC games at Microsoft's conference? Probably. Do you I mean, think we'll see I mean, the, new, that's, the that's, Halo Wars and things like that that they've been talking that's, about? Do you that's think their new, like, uh, what do they call it, Project Helix or whatever they're talking right. about. Their, yeah. new, their new focus and direction is to integrate those two platforms together so they they function, they have more functionality together. Mm. Um, and, yeah, I, I think they'll probably start announcing, like, uh, on Xbox One and PC, games for Windows and all that shit. So, um yeah, I think you'll probably see a lot of spiel about PC and Xbox connectivity. Cool, sounds good, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it because uh, you know VR. This is, I think, I think you know you do have a point when you when you when your prediction was about their new console uh, with VR connectivity. I think this is going to be the year of VR. Uh, we already saw. Oh, uh, definitely. We already saw Rift and um, you know Ocul Ocul Oculus Rift, and we also saw the Vive and uh, Sony's new VR tech is coming out this year. Uh, so you know this it is going to be the first uh, gen of well, this well, VR may, world. And maybe we're that's now. that's why maybe that's why they allowed Oculus to sell or give a free Xbox One controller with the Oculus. That might have been some kind of like peace offering on Microsoft's part to start doing early dealings. Maybe they already knew they were going to make a more powerful console in the future, and they wanted to try, to try to get to Oculus early. It'll be interesting. I mean, I don't know. I just can't see it happening. But, you know, I, I, I don't know because I just don't think they want to burn people already because, uh, you know, I mean, even Phil Spencer said, yeah, we're not making a half step. I mean, I mean, I this... it's, it's not really a half step, though, that yeah, this... because it's four times it's four times as powerful Six as the teraflops. That's right. Insane. I mean, it's, you're talking about... And it's going to be more powerful than the PlayStation Neo, so... So, I mean, I it's, don't know if they're ready to go down that road. I mean, maybe they are. Maybe maybe they're throwing the towel on the Xbox One. Like, do you think they're in an Nintendo I, I, situation? No they're, they're, no, they're not going to do that. They won't throw on the towel on the Xbox One. They're just... I think they're going to more market it like, oh, if you want to use, like, the Oculus, uh, you can buy this new console, and they'll probably focus a lot on that and probably make games run better and nicer on it, but... They'll probably still reinforce it, like, oh no, the Xbox One is an integral part of our structure, blah blah blah. So yeah, the PR bullshit. Yeah, yeah, it'll be there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds good, man. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to say about Xbox. I think, uh, you know, time will tell on it. Uh, yeah, I don't really see any of the further connectivity with with uh, phones or anything like that. I think they are going to be doing their own proprietary things with Oculus, and they're really going to try to get in with that. If they go any any other ops, you know, other different route, if they are trying to get out of you know, traditional gaming and get into the VR world. I don't, I don't think they're going to be going backwards at this point. So it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah. 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 So, uh, so I don't know. Uh, do you have anything else you want to add? Or we, maybe we should move on to Sony now? Or Yeah, we can move on to Sony. I mean, I think we pretty much summed it up with Microsoft, what's expected of them and what we hope for them to have. I don't know. <laughs> sounds, yeah, sounds good. Yeah. 